Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. As always, I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how to use trigonometric functions on the TI-36X Pro Calculator. To do this we'll be using the sine, cosine, and tan keys that are located along here, as well as the second function key that looks like this, located here in the top left, and the inverse button looks like this, located here. So the examples we'll be doing here will all be using degrees. So the first thing we want to do is make sure our calculator is in degree mode. You can confirm that it is by seeing the DEG on the top of your screen right there. If you don't see it, you want to press mode to bring up this menu. And this top three options is your degree, radian, or grad options. You can move left to right with the arrow keys and we want to highlight the DEG, which should be the first one. Press enter and press clear. And you should now be in degrees mode if you weren't before. All right, starting off simple. If we want to find the sine of 30 degrees, you just press the sine key once, brings this up, enter 30 and press enter. And you get one over two. Now remember this calculator likes to give you fractions, so if we want that in a decimal, all we have to do is press this left and right arrow key above the enter, and you can see that converts it from a fraction to a decimal. So our sine 30 is 0 0.5. All right, for cosine, we do it the same way. Let's say we want to do cosine of 30 degrees. You press cos, 30, enter. And there we go, as a fraction, and remember, if we want to convert that to a decimal, press this key here, and we get the cosine of 30 degrees as 0 0.8660. And again with tan, tan 30, enter, there's our fraction, and our decimal of 0 0.57735, etc. Alright, those are the basic sine, cosine, and tan functions. You can also do cosecant, secant, and cotangent with this calculator. To do that, since there isn't an actual button for it, what you have to do is find the corresponding function, or this corresponding sine, cosine, and tan, and then inverse your result. So, if you want to find the cosecant of 30 degrees, first you find the sine of it, press enter, and here's our 1 over 2, and now we want to inverse that. So to do that, we use the second function, and then this fraction key, with the second function of 1 over 0, or 1 over x. Press that, and we get a 1 over answer, and press enter, and we see our cosecant of 30 degrees is 2. And for secant, we use cosine. So again, cosine 30, enter. And then we want to inverse that. So that's our second function, inverse. 1 over answer, enter. And we get our fraction, which again, we can convert to a decimal with that left and right arrow key. And we get the secant of 30 degrees is equal to 1.1547, etc. And for cotangent, we use tan, so we go tan 30, enter, second function, inverse, enter, there's our fraction, and again, convert to decimals, we have 1.7320, etc. Alright, that's easy enough. This calculator can also find arc sine, arc cos, and arc tans of values. You do this by pressing the sine, cosine, or tan key twice. So if you want to find the arc sine, you press sine once, there's our initial sine, press it again, and you see you get sine to the power of minus one, or arc sine. And now what this is useful in doing is going from, say, the 0 0.5 that we got, back to the 30 degrees to figure out how many degrees we used initially. So if we enter 0.5 here 
and press enter, you can see we get 30, which is correct. For arc cos, again, press the cosine button twice, and then enter what we got, which was rounded. We'll, we'll say 0 0.8660, enter, and we get what would round to 30 degrees. And finally, arc tan, we press tan twice. There's our tan to the power of minus one, or arc tan. And for this one, we got 0 0.5774 and enter. And again, we get what would round to 30 degrees. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.